Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. Tell me something about this feeling right here. Yeah, the vibe is so beautiful. Anyway, get your visa and you get to Ghana this December or January. Yes, get your visa. No need to pre-apply before you come because the Ghana Tourism Authority, together with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the other government agencies, have agreed, approved, and announced that if you want to come to Ghana from the 1st of December 2023 to the 15th of January 2024, then you don't need a visa. I know you want to come and experience this. Look, our fishermen, they are pulling their nets. Others are inside there. I'm loving this view already. So today I said, hey, let me come up and give you this great news. Are you thinking of coming to Ghana very soon in December? Come and enjoy the December in Ghana. I mean, that is one of the most beautiful things that can ever happen to our brothers and sisters who want to, you know, come to the motherland and enjoy the beautiful nature that and then events that we have here in Ghana. Now, so this is part of the 10 years project uh, that the Ghana Tourism Authority and Ghana government have put in place uh, 2020 to 2023 beyond uh, the return uh, campaign. So as part of this project, we know a lot of people do come to Ghana in December, come and enjoy, build network, connect with people, uh, start businesses, buy land, do a lot of things here. So uh, the government is like, hey, let's make things easy for our brothers and sisters to come home. So then uh, from the date that I've mentioned earlier, uh, December 1st, 2023 to 15 January, 2024, if you wanna come to Ghana, you don't need to pre-apply for your visa. Just come to Ghana and then you will get your visa on arrival. I had a conversation with a brother yesterday about tourism here in Cape Coast and in Ghana. What can we do to put tourism up there as Cape Coasters, as people of Cape Coast Central Region of Ghana? And this is what he had to say. Now watch this and put up a comment and let me know your thoughts on everything that we discussed on this vlog. Peace out. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I've already told you that this year, next year, you know, the years ahead of us, we are going to be protecting Central Region. And in protecting Central Region, we will definitely talk about tourism. We have education, uh, agriculture, and all that. But this time, we want to talk about tourism. So I happen to vlog today. Yesterday, I'm vlogging in one of the big man's office. When I say big <laughs> man, it means that this brother right here is doing a lot to project tourism here in the central region of Ghana. I mean, he's been doing a lot of tours here in Ghana, Senegal. Uh, Senegal, Togo, Togo Benin, Benin, Tanzania, Tanzania, South Africa. Wow, meaning he's the man to connect with. So, you know, I was doing my thing moving around uh, central region Cape Coast, capturing a beautiful moment for you, which I'm going to show you very soon you know having the aerial perspective of my beautiful cape coast and central region here in ghana so i decided to you know turn into his office and ask him some few questions about how has it been so far no first of all tell us your name and your organization all right so the name is uh, michael kojo lens mm -hmm. and i'm the ceo of torchlight tours and like you said torchlight tours we promote Tour of Ghana, Togo, Benin, Senegal, Tanzania, and South Africa. And anytime you want to come to Africa, I know, hey, if you have not subscribed to <laughs> Echo Simpson YouTube, please do it now. All the information on reconnecting to ancestral roots, owning the property, anything that you want to learn about Africa, Echo is the man to learn from. So, Anytime you want to come to Africa on the tour, uh, we'll entreat you to connect with Torchlight Tours. We are ready to give you the best of uh, package for you to um, have the best of experience in Ghana. Wow, beautiful. So like you said, if you're coming, you need to connect with Torchlight Tours. But let me ask you, it's, it's almost, 2023 is almost done. Yeah. Yeah, we're in November right now. Uh, what would you say was the general um, uh, 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 influx of tourists coming to Ghana. Do you think we had more people coming in or we had less people coming in? Yes, I mean, I think this is a very crucial 
question and it's a very good good one uh, as we are revamping our tourism after COVID scare last year we begin the journey mm -hmm. but this year has been better than last year okay. the, and the glimpses into 2024 even look much better okay. yeah so this year has been better than last year okay. after COVID and we see next year being much better okay myself I think uh, since I was able to travel twice within the year, yeah. then I think a lot of people are also ready and they are also traveling. Sure. Now, yeah. um, we are going to 2024. In Cape Coast, do you think we have to do something different from the usual castles and the canopy walkway? <laughs> do you think we can do something different? Yes. I, I, I personally agree that there's, I mean one or two we need to do to adapt to our tourism enclave mm -hmm. to increase the numbers i am hoping that the traditional authority of cape coast can begin to have a new chapter of relationship with our brothers and sisters okay. coming from the diaspora okay uh that they shouldn't just come and see the dangers and the castle and go mm -hmm. They should also see Cape Coast as a home. Okay. Coming back home to Africa and reuniting with your ancestral roots, Cape Coast play a major role in transatlantic slave trade. Mm. So they can adopt Cape Coast as their home. And as they adopt Cape Coast at home, what would Cape Coast do for them? Mm -hmm. There should be a great initiative right. where our brothers and sisters will feel part and parcel of us, mm -hmm. that they will not just come and see the dangers and go. Mm -hmm. They feel being part of Cape Coast. So we need to look into a inheritance of legacy program okay. that the people of Cape Coast, I'm talking about the traditional authority, mm -hmm all the stakeholders have to come together and begin to create a new chapter of relationship with our brothers and sisters coming in great i also think that uh, this is a suggestion uh, yeah. he is he is he is a big man when it comes to ghana what is what is, <laughs> what is that position uh, i'm the vice president for tour operators union of ghana okay vice president of tour operators union in ghana yeah so in that means i feel like when we talk about tourism the lifestyle of the people also counts exactly. so if somebody will come and want to do food tour yeah. and will go to the market and bargain and buy things like the way we do it i think that it is about time we also educate the layman working around cape coast that Cape Coast is a hub of tourism. So yes. therefore, they should have that in mind. So yeah. that anytime there is a visitor coming in, anybody yeah. coming in, they know how to treat the person. Yeah, I mean, this is spot on. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for us in tourism, we say Cape Coast is the working museum. Cape Coast is a working museum because everywhere you tend to in Cape Coast, there is an historical... Uh, importance of that area mm -hmm. everywhere in Cape Coast has that historical importance and uh, it's very important that the people in Cape Coast have or been educated to be aware of the industry we find ourselves mm -hmm. and how we can all take advantage to make sure that we must find the opportunities the potentials of the tourism in Cape Cod and it will be beneficial to all of us. So I would say we need to create the awareness. Okay. People need to understand the teaming on them project mm -hmm. can be trained to become tour guides, okay. can be trained to you know acquire an artisan skill where they can do painting and sell to the tourists that come to Cape Coast. So we need to reorient, create more awareness and educate the masses to understand the tourism potentials in Cape Coast right. and what we can do to position ourselves to benefit. And also we will call on the government to look into having a major legacy tourism program I will say that our beachfront mm -hmm. is our gold mine, yeah. it's our treasure. Mm -hmm. 
So like they have introduced the marine drive project in Accra. Mm -hmm. Similar thing can be introduced in Cape Cod. Okay. Maybe a $1 billion mm -hmm. tourism program on our beach to turn our coastal line into restaurants, to turn it into major hotels, conferences, um, other artificial water sports activities, mm -hmm. fountains and the rest. I mean, recreational centers where tourists that come to Cape Coast will not just see the castles and go back, mm -hmm. but there will be a lot of additional activities yeah. That will keep them and let them stay in Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. My heartbeat is increasing the hotel rooms in Cape Cod. Okay. We really need to increase the hotel rooms in Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. And we believe that government together with private initiative, PPP, mm -hmm. public uh, private partnership mm -hmm. can be created. And if the government create that and neighbor and um, 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 enable environment for them, they will come and invest. And I believe that will go a long way to um, further put Cape Coast in a very good position. And that will be a major source of living wood yeah. for most families yeah. here. All right, that is true. I mean, I agree with everything you said. Now, before we end this, I've seen this man behind you. What is the inspiration? Why do you have him there? Oh, I don't if I if I if I'm going to talk about Kwame Nkrumah, then I need this to <laughs> talk about him. Yeah. I have the big man right here. Every day he give me inspiration. Right. He tells us how selfless he is and uh, how he works so hard for Africa to unite. And one of his popular quotes that you are an African. Not because you were born in Africa, but Africa is born in you. So wherever you find yourself, as you are black, know that you are an African. I will call on our brothers and sisters who have not made this journey yet to begin to plan. Make Africa a priority on your wish list. Yeah. And uh, it should be like a Muslim needed to visit oh, Mecca. Yeah, once in his or her lifetime. Coming to Africa is also a pilgrimage journey. It's a journey that you need to make it at least once in your lifetime. Right. Yeah, so Kwame Nkrumah is a man. <laughs> the African man or the black person of the century, Kwame Nkrumah, he did a lot for Africa. He did a lot for Ghana. And he's a, a major inspiration. That is why I have his picture here. Great. I always see him as we needed to finish his work. And right. he's a major inspiration to us. Right. That is my man right there, Kwame Nkrumah, yeah. my senior man. So yeah. I know that uh, 2024, there are lineup of activities or yeah. events from Torchlight Tours. So if you're watching this video right now and you're, you're thinking, Echo, I want to visit Ghana, I want to visit Africa, but you're, not, you're confused on what to do, I introduce this man to you. So he's going to tell us a little bit of uh, their plans, you know, activities for next year. So maybe you can add this to your uh, bucket list and then make sure that you contact them and then they will give you the best. So let us know what you have for 2024. All right. So 2024 is going to be our anniversary. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's our sixth or fifth anniversary uh, if you take COVID out but mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be our anniversary and our heartbeat is to invite people all over the world to come and join us in the service and volunteer tour where we are going to work in various schools mm -hmm. paint schools donation teach kids i mean for a uh, two weeks you are going to give back to the community and uh, this will be on the um may 27 to the june 9th mm -hmm. so that is going to be our major major program for 2024 our service and volunteer uh package that we are inviting people to come not just to see ghana but also take time to give back to the community mm -hmm. and also we have the juneteenth which comes on june 11 to 20th 
uh, Juneteenth is the day of freedom for um, Africans who were sold into slavery. And uh, we are inviting you not just to celebrate or remember the Juneteenth, but come to Africa where everything was started. Let's walk and touch the walls of the dungeon and heal our ancestors' uh, pain. And let us understand that the freedom we have today has warranted us to be the wildest dream of our ancestors. And um, we believe that coming to join us here to um, commemorate the Juneteenth celebration is going to be a great journey for you. Then we also have the best of Ghana and Senegal tour. We are very excited about, about that. And that will be on the July 10th to the 21st. Then we also have the best of Ghana, Togo, Beni, which is going to be on uh, December um, 8th to the 18th. Then we also have um, December in Ghana proper, which is from the 27th to the 2nd or 3rd of uh, uh, January 2025. And... Um, we have an extension that will go to Benin and Togo for our brothers and sisters who want to dive more into traditional African religion. You can take advantage of this tour and continue to see the Voodoo Festival, which is going to be in January 8 in Benin. Then we have Afro Torch, which is going to be the crammers of all our activities in 2024. So Afro Touch is a three-day program which is going to head here in Cape Coast. Our brothers and sisters mostly will come to Cape Coast and go back to Accra. So we are bringing this program to Cape Coast where you can see the best of our custom tradition as you tour the dungeons. And uh, there's also a part that you are going to enjoy the authentic African cuisine. We are going to have a cultural fair where you are going to be exposed to our various custom. You do all of that pre before the busy season in our craft start from somewhere 27, 28. So we inviting you to come to Cape Coast to see the history, the land, the culture, and everything. Then you continue back to our craft. Thank you so much, Echo. All right, beautiful. I know you heard a lot about. Uh, torch light tours, you know, giving you all the activities lined up for this year, next year. Yeah. And this year, December in Ghana, I'll be in Accra. I'll try as much as possible to capture everything that is going to happen. I was there yeah. the last two years. It was beautiful. We yeah. had a lot of the diaspora. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people from all over the world all, all over visiting the world, yeah. Ghana. Thank you very much for checking us out. I'll put the contact details in the description. Make sure you contact Torch Light Tours. Let's take it from there. Peace out. All right. And of course, I would say that anybody who will contact us through Echo, you make the reference through Echo Simpson YouTube, we are going to give you a special discount wow. because of Echo. <laughs> we have a special, special discount for you. Okay. A man blowing discount <laughs> for, for you. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. So if you're watching this, please just give them an email. And then you get reference you Air Course reference Simpson. Air Simpson, yeah. Or you get the video from Air Course Simpson's channel, yeah, yeah. and then you would get it. Thank you very much for checking us out. Thank you. We love Ghana. Excited. Welcome to Ghana. Welcome to Ghana. I made it. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to Ghana. Glad to be here. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to Ghana. Land of the. <laughs> <laughs>